Okay, so what we're going to explain in this video here is how to use a Beaver Builder template to create a new page. So first we're going to go to Add New Pages from your admin side of things there. We'll create a page title. For ours we'll use Example Building Page. We'll click on Page Builder, which will take us to the Beaver Builder add-on page there. We'll scroll to the right hand side of the page there. You'll see a little plus icon if you don't see that X. You can click that. We'll click on Templates. And then we'll click on Builder Page Template or Buildings. This brings up our template with all the information preloaded. You can click on an element to edit it. As you can see we're editing the title here. We'll just give it a random name. <coughs> Change it to whatever you'd like. Save to save that portion. If we want to adjust, let's say, the background image here, we'll click on the little Edit Column button and then Column Settings. Here we will scroll to the bottom where you can see our image. We're using Photo as the type. Let's change it to, say, this picture of the building. You can see it's got a small width, so it's going to distort the image on larger screens. We use this as an example. So I'll go ahead and save that so we can take a look at it. You can see that the image is fairly distorted behind the building at 123 Avenue. So what we want to look for is a larger image, or you can set it to fit the image, as you can see there. Uh, let's go back to fill. We use uh, an image with a larger width this time. Let's just choose the standard one. You can see it's got a much larger width here. So we'll assign that, click Save, and voila, a nice defined picture. Now if we want to change the size of that picture at the very top of the page, we'll go to the Advanced tab. I'm going to shrink this down so we can kind of see our movements in progress. So you'll go to the padding here, and this is for top padding, right and left you can see. And as I just did, the padding right here on the top between building at 1, 2, 3, and the top of the image shrinks or becomes larger. So we'll set it back to 50, same as the bottom, and these are in pixels, of course. So you can see it at zero, there's nothing below, and then up to 150. So that'll set the size of the image that you want it. You can change the width per device here. And of course, there's always the ability to further adjust these types of items using cascading style sheets or CSS. We'll save that. We'll check out these tabs here. I also have widgets, but if you want to edit those tabs, we'll click on that portion of the site. We'll click on the item that we want to. Item is just a, another word for, of course, for the tab. So item number one, description, two, floor plans, etc. Just brings up a standard text editor that WordPress offers. So we will click within that editor. We can add items to it. You can see I just added example item that'll populate and then we can edit the name if we wish to. Let's just go to tab number three. So we'll change tab number three, give it a different name here. We can also add some information so we can see how it looks once we're done. Here's our information on tab three. We'll save it. You can add items here as well if you wish to add more than three. You can also delete the tabs. From here, we'll click Done, Publish. This then allows us to see what the site would look like for a visitor. And I'll click around through the tabs. You can see now that tab that we edited is live with the changes. Now I'll show you really quickly. If you click on Beaver Builder at the top there, again, it takes you right back into the editor page. Here's a widget. You can see that we have imported that widget. Now if you want to add a widget, we click the plus button. We will go to, there's a whole bunch of information we can, we can add there, modules. These are your standard modules that come with Beaver Builder. And then we will click on that drop down menu, click WordPress widgets. And here are all the WordPress widgets that we have. Now, as an example, we're going to give one, well, we'll add one here. And what you do is you just click and slide it over to the portion of the page that you wish to add one. Let me just find a good widget. Right, let's do a map search. So you can choose to put it within the column or outside of it, that little highlight. The blue highlight shows you where it's going to go. So we just added that. You can give it a title if you wish to. 
See, sometimes, uh, especially with IDX, those widgets don't like to show. So what we do is uh, we'll click publish really quickly, and then we'll refresh the web page. And if we scroll to the bottom now, we'll see our map that was added. So that's how you add a map. That's how you edit the portions of the page that you wish to. It's pretty simple. You just click edit, and you're on your way. If you have any questions, please let me know.